This is the best way to start software engineering, hands down. If you want to start becoming a programmer, there's one area where most people mess up, and that's that they decide to choose a programming languages first, meaning that they're going to learn something like Python, and then once they learn something like Python, they're going to be able to do like one cool thing, like build a cool spinning donut thing, and that's pretty much it. Now, that is not the route to go with programming. The correct way to do it is to ask yourself what programming path you want to go down. And your programming path is going to be dependent on what you want to do with coding. And typically for most people, that's doing one of two things. Number one, it's just a passion. You have a passion for a specific path. Or number two, it's more career focused. You want a better life. You want to make more money. You want to be able to work from home, spend more time with your family, things along those lines. Now, if it's just about passion, you need to first find where your passions lie. Is it with artificial intelligence, machine learning, is it something like app development, whatever that may be. And then you can find some certain languages that are more associated to that passion. Point being is you don't want to go and just start learning a random programming language just because someone said it's the easiest one to pick up. Now, if you're more focused on the career aspect, while yes, you can make a uh, careers out of these paths here. Typically, there's some extra things that go into those career fields, whereas the easiest way to break into tech is through web development. Like I said, this is the easiest barrier of entry into the tech field. Now, keep in mind, web development kind of gets a bad rap sometimes. Reason being, it's not just about building websites. For example, you have applications like Uber. So much goes into something like Uber. There's a software that helps select a driver for coming to pick someone up. There's a software for booking a driver. There's Uber Eats, which by itself is an entirely different realm that has to connect with tons of different businesses and restaurants. There's so much that goes into Uber. It's not just about building a cool, pretty looking website. Now, if you want to break into tech as quickly as possible, you're going to start with HTML and CSS. These are the basic scripting languages. A lot of people don't even consider them programming languages. We're going to call them programming languages for the sake of simplicity. These are super, super easy to learn, easy to pick up, and you're going to be primarily working on front end, which is everything that you see when you look at something. Something. Then you're going to move into an actual programming language, JavaScript. And JavaScript is a widely used language. It's used in a variety of different applications, and it's not confined to just web development, believe it or not. You can also do some really cool things like game development, things along those lines. Once you do that, then you'll move into React, which is going to be your framework. And then after you complete those, you will be considered job ready. And then you can start going out and applying for jobs, start actually living the life you want to live. And then you can even learn some back end technology to really bring all those skills home and really be a valuable employee employee. The cool thing about this path is once you add this path to your tool belt, you're able to then use it to go out and start learning other paths. So if you wanted to just focus on getting as quickly as possible a barrier entry job into tech, you can go through web development. Then once you get that job, you can start exploring other paths with the foundations you have set in stone. For example, if I finish web development and I can go and get a job in web development, then I can now take my knowledge of learning programming languages and apply that to say game development or machine learning or anything along those lines. Web development is just the easiest barrier of entry to get you started with programming. Point being in this entire video is don't just look at a specific language and say, hey, this is the language that someone said was the easiest to learn and the easiest to start with. Because if that language does not fit in a path that you want to be in, then there's no point in learning that language. For example, Python does have some attributions when it comes to web development. But if I'm someone that's saying, hey, I want to get a job in software engineering as quickly as possible, odds are web development isn't going to be the best route for me because it's not going to help me get to that specific path. It's not about just learning as many languages as you can. It's mainly about understanding what path you want to go down and the best route to getting to that path. The reason why I bring up web development is because other paths, for example, artificial intelligence, machine learning, app development, things like that, there's some typical other additives that you have to be thrown in there in order to actually get jobs in those fields. And if you're someone who doesn't really want to go through that rabbit hole, it's not. It's more about getting a career than it is following some kind of passion, then web development is where you need to go. For example, artificial intelligence, companies are typically going to require require some college experience and things like that. And if you don't want to chase a four year degree, I don't blame you. Same when it comes to machine learning, there's a lot of data science involved with machine learning and things along those lines, as well as app development. If you're looking to get a job in app development, typically a lot of those jobs are not as remote. It's very hard to get a job with exactly what it is you're looking for. So it really just depends on what your passion is. If your passion is artificial intelligence, if your passion is machine learning, if your passion is building cool apps or cool games or anything along those lines, by all means, take 
all of this out of the count and go follow your passion. Go learn the languages. You can easily find what languages are best. Um, if you want to do app development, you can use Swift for iOS, Kotlin for Android. There's so many, so many things that you can do and go down those rabbit holes to start learning how to build games, how to build apps, how to work with AI, how to work with machines, things along those lines. But if you're someone who just says, hey, I want to get a job in programming as quickly as possible. I want a different life. I want to be able to stay home with my kids more, uh, go out and do more fun things with my friends and family, things along those lines. Web development is the route to go because the easiest barrier of entry into the tech field. If you have any questions about this, feel free to comment down below. I'd love to get into these conversations. But most importantly, understand I'm not saying don't follow your passion. If you have a passion, follow that passion. But what you can't do is just learn some random programming language and call it good there. That's a wrap for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it was short and sweet. That's how I like to keep it. I can't wait to see you in the next one.